Okay, so this is the uh, second method of solving equations, the multiplicative inverse. Um, so between this and the additive inverse, that's pretty much uh, most of the time what you're using when you're solving equations. So let's talk about what the multiplicative inverse is. So when you find the inverse of a number, what, it, what it's related to is it's not the opposite. So a lot of times if I say find the inverse of 3, people say, I know what that is, that's negative 3. That's the opposite, that's not the inverse. You see, the inverse of 3 is 1 third. Okay, so it says, when a number is multiplied by its inverse, the product is 1. So if I multiply 3 times 1 third, that gives me 1. So that's how you know something's the inverse, um, or it's not. So for example, if I multiplied 3 times, say, negative 3, because I confuse the opposite with the inverse, I'd get negative 9, and that's not 1. So if something's the inverse, by definition, when you multiply it, um, you get 1. So the inverse of negative 2 is negative one-half. Now that is important because a lot of times when people say the inverse, this is a negative two, I'll say, what's the inverse of negative two? And they'll say, well, it's one-half. Well, close, but not all the way, because if I multiply negative two times one-half, I would actually get negative one and not one. So if this is negative, then its inverse will be negative. Don't forget that that is a very common mistake when people are using the multiplicative inverse when they're solving their equations. So that, of course, is equal to one. Now, the inverse of 7 over 3 is 3 over 7. So it's basically the fractions flip. Remember, this is 3 over 1, so it's 1 third. This is negative 2 over 1, so this is, you can see it's just the fraction flipped over. So 7 over 3 would be 3 over 7. And then if you know anything about multiplying fractions, these would cross cancel, see? So this would be 1, this would be 1, this would be 1, this would be 1, so it comes out to 1. And then the multiplicative inverse of 1 fifth would be 5 negative 5, or negative 5 over 1, however you want to look at it, um, and then that is also 1. Okay, so that's what, it, what an inverse is. So we use this to, again, isolate x, which is the name of the game when we're trying to solve equations is to get the variable by itself. Um, so one thing I wanted to point out is these guys right here. So I started with these because they look a little bit harder. Usually people are fine with these, but um, these ones right here, the best thing to do is to rewrite this. Okay, so when you see x over 7, what this means is 1 over 7x is equal to negative 2. So that's my original equation. Um, and then I want to get x by itself. So it's the same thing we were doing before. We want to get this guy all alone. So what I want to do is I want to turn this into a 1. So when we're doing the additive inverse, we're trying to actually take something away. But this is a coefficient of x. It's not just 1 7 sitting there. So I can't just add its opposite and make it turn to zero. This is actually 1 7th x. So what I'm going to do is multiply this by 7 over 1 over here. And that's the multiplicative inverse. Okay? So this would all turn into a 1. So what's 1 times x? It's x. x is by itself now. And then I have negative 2 times 7 which is negative 14 divided by 1, which is just negative 14. So then that's it. This one over here, this is my original equation, right? Don't need to do anything special with it. Now I'm going to use my multiplicative inverse. So I have 3 over 2 times 2 thirds x is equal to 5 times 3 over 2. So this stuff here is 1, so I just have x. And then I have 5 times 3, which is 15 over 2. Got a little bit crowded here, so I'll break that off so you can see it. All right, I'll move this problem over here. So there's my original equation. And the inverse of uh, negative 3 is negative 1 third. And then I do the other side by that. So this turns out to be 1, so that's just x. And then this turns into 2 over 3, right? Because this is 2 over 1. So I have 2 times uh, negative 1, which is uh, negative 2. And then 1 times 3, which is 3, so it's that. And then this one over here. So there's my original equation. And then I'm going to do negative 1 fifth times negative 5x is equal to negative 15 times negative 1 fifth. That's my multiplicative inverse. 
and then I've got x is equal to 3. Okay, that's all there is to it. That's how you do the multiplicative inverse.